Now to new information on the crash that killed a 12 year old girl in Taylor. Noah Damron went before a judge this afternoon charged in that girl's death. Police say he was drunk when he ran a red light on Telegraph, crashing into the car carrying 12 year old Phoebe Elliott. Larry Spruill been following this story. Larry, he is uh, actually facing a number of charges here. Well, Devin and Kimberly, we are talking about nine charges in total from operating a vehicle while drunk and causing death to multiple felony charges. Now, I talked to the chief today and he tells me that this crash affected everyone. This man, 20 year old Noah Gary Damron, faced the severe charges for his involvement in the fatal crash, killing 12 year old Phoebe Elliott and Taylor. I talked to Taylor Police Chief John Blair about this horrific incident. Just before two o'clock, we received um, uh, the warrant back from the prosecutor's office. And as we speak, um, our subject is being arraigned on uh, nine different charges. Those nine charges include various counts from reckless driving causing death, operating a vehicle while intoxicated causing death, and multiple weapon charges. Chief Blair says Noah Damron was allegedly driving drunk in a Ford Escape on Telegraph Road and Northline Road in Taylor early Wednesday morning when he ran a red light and crashed into this Chevy Blazer with Phoebe and her aunt inside. She later died. This is difficult for everybody, not only um, obviously her family, uh, the aunt who she was with, uh, their extended family and friends, um, it also has an impact upon the community. And the police chief tells me that a judge issued a $2 million bond, no 10%. Meanwhile, there is a GoFundMe account set up for the family and information is on the website. Click on Detroit.com. We're live tonight, Larry Spruill, Local 4.